Hi, and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. This fall, a number of programs have returned in person after more than two years of pause due to pandemic. A music program called Cambridge Youth Gamelan is one of them. Citizen journalist Komako Akai Wailo reports their summer workshop that was held earlier this summer. Students from Cambridge neighboring communities, including Belmont, enjoy practicing Balinese instrumental assembled together. The group resumed its fall session in September. Gamelan is a musical art form. You find gamelan throughout Southeast Asia, but in particular in Indonesia, and most commonly represented on the islands of uh, Java and Bali. When I started playing gamelan 18 years ago, I knew nothing and I was coming at it from a primarily classical music background and I found the experience extremely challenging because the music is taught by rote, which means without any sheet music. It's taught through repetition, it's taught through demonstration and modeling, which was a very different way of learning. Yeah, that was Gamelan is a word that roughly translates to orchestra, and it refers to a collection of instruments, um, potted instruments, gongs, uh, bronze keyed, iron keyed, bamboo keyed instruments, flutes, drums, it refers to a collection of instruments that are unified by a common tuning and a common purpose. They are built together as an inseparable family of instruments. <laughs> The group that I'm teaching now is called the Cambridge Youth Gamelan, or Gamelan Anaktika. Uh, we rehearse uh, at MIT um, through the support of uh, the MIT Music Theater and Arts Department, Evan Zaporin, Gamelan and Galactica, and a lot of other benefactors and community support. We have been around for four years and we're entering our fifth year in the fall. This is a group um, whose primary function is to expose um, and immerse uh, students ages six to through the end of high school in Balinese music and culture. This is the first summer workshop we've been able to hold in two years um, due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, what's special about this workshop is that not only do we have this variety of ages and experiences, but we also have students from all over the place. We have students coming from Arlington, from Belmont, from Cambridge, from Boston, from Andover, um, coming together to share and experience this music together. I liked the music, it was pretty catchy, and I liked how the music, it was hard, but it was actually also fun. A gamelan is like something that no one has really heard of, and it's definitely fun to talk to other people who ask what it's like to play. And I would usually say it's something that I can't really describe, but once you get play it, you understand why I keep playing it. Yeah, try it with that. Let's all try it on our own. When we sit down to learn a piece, um, because we're not using notation, the whole is not immediately visible to them. So we're putting together little snippets, little layers of sound and moving around the room and each person gets their layer and then we add the next layer and the next layer and little by little it's kind of like this puzzle that you're filling in all the little parts and pieces together until eventually there's this moment where everybody kind of understands how their part fits in to create this larger image. I think my goal for all of the kids that, that play gamelan is for them to be able to experience something different in their childhood early on, um, for them to be able to learn about a different culture through their music um, and to develop a curiosity about somebody else's culture early on that kind of opens doors for them um, in a way that 
might not be traditionally opened. And I'm really grateful that MIT has um, opened up its doors again to K-12 programming so that we can gather for this summer session and start our fifth year together as an ensemble in the fall. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. See you next time. If you like biking and care about social justice and the environment, Bikes Not Bombs 35th Annual Bikeathon is the event for you. On Sunday, September 11th, riders will depart from Stony Brook Field to make a plane and ride on 10, 30, 50, or 100 mile routes. There will be rest stops, food, and route markings along the way. A fantastic lunch and live music will be provided after the ride. You're helping Bikes Not Bombs use the bicycle as a vehicle for social change in Boston and throughout the Global South. For more information and to register as a rider or volunteer, go to bikesnotbombs.org.